back to the Parenting Junkie. I'm so thrilled to be here again with Dr. Laura Markham and her lovely daughter Alice. And we're going to talk about sibling dynamics, especially around fairness. Have your kids ever asked you and said, it's not fair? If so, you're gonna wanna watch this video until the end. Now, if this series is helpful for you and you think it could be helpful for any other parents you know, please share it with them. You can tag us on Instagram at Aha Parenting, at Parenting Junkie, uh, share it out on Facebook, email, SMS, all the regular routes, so just tell someone, tell someone about it. We would love to spread the word of Peaceful Parenting and Dr. Laura Markham's work further afoot. Um, yeah, so without further ado, we're gonna talk about fairness. Let's get into it. Okay. You're gonna go on a sleepover. Yes, it's so exciting. I'm going to sleepover. It's your first uh -huh. sleepover. And, and I know you're super excited. And I just saw that little look you gave to your little it's sister. Not fair. Yeah, and she, why does she get to go to a sleepover and I don't get to go to a sleepover? Because you're you're little love so, me. So you know what? I'm gonna talk with your sister about it, okay? And we know that in our house, what's our most important family role? Be kind. So when you get to have something that I someone else kind. doesn't, I, you know, and I love I that about you. That you're she kind. Can't I know you I, didn't say anything mean at all. She can do her own sleepover. I, 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 I can't I, do it. She's a little little to do a sleepover yet. Can't yet. Let me. She's going to have a sleepover soon, but not yet because she's not quite old enough. But I just noticed that look you gave her was that you get to have one and she doesn't, right? So so I just wanted to say, I know that you're that you usually are able to choose kindness. And in that moment just now, you were so excited about the sleepover and how you got to do it that you chose something a little less kind with your look. That's all. But you get their sleepover. Yeah. We'll talk about it soon, okay? okay. You go ahead, sweetie. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna talk with your sister about this. Your sister is doing a sleepover. No. And you're not, are you? No. No, not yet. Not yet. I don't get to do one. It's not fair. Why can't I? Well, you're not quite old enough. Why not? What do you think it'd be like to have a sleepover? I would go to, to Hannah's house. Mm -hmm. Hannah's house. And then I would sleep there. Mm -hmm. You would fall asleep there. Yeah. And when we, you we fall would asleep have at home. Breakfast. Oh, you would get to have and breakfast. And before that, we would play. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That sounds like really fun because you yeah. love playing with Hannah. I know. And then in the middle of the night, when you're at our house in the middle of the night, sometimes you wake up, right? And what yeah. do you do in the middle of the night I, when you wake up? I go to your room. And then what? And then I wake you up. Yeah. And then what? And then you hold me. Yeah. Yeah. And eventually you go back to sleep either in my bed or back in your own bed, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you go to Hannah's house and have a sleepover and you wake up in the middle of the night, what happens then? Because I won't be there. No. No. I, I... You could come. <laughs> we could do a sleepover, you and me and Hannah. Oh my gosh, I never thought of that. I don't know why I didn't think of that. What a great idea. Don't you know be what? Silly, Mama. It's so silly, right? Someday you're going to have a sleepover. Someday. And you're going to get to have breakfast with Hannah. I'll sleep through the night. And you know what? You could work on sleeping through the night and not coming to wake me up. That would be hard, I know. But yeah. I wonder if you would be able to put yourself back to sleep at night when you woke up. Yeah. Without coming to wake me up. I could do it. You think you could do that? Yeah. I think she can do it. I My think sister can do it. Your sister can do it. And she's been working on it. And she now does it every night. She sleeps and she if she wakes up, she puts herself back to sleep. She even gets up to pee and then goes back to bed herself and doesn't <laughs> wake me up. <laughs> yeah, you could work on that too if you wanted, couldn't you? Yeah. And I think you would be ready for a sleepover in not when? too long, in not too long, once you master that. Okay. Right? And then you would feel comfortable going to Hannah's without Can Hannah sleep over here? When Hannah's mother says that Hannah's ready and when Hannah feels ready, right? Mm -hmm. Then it would be fine with me if Hannah sleeps over. Because you guys really want to have breakfast. And you know, some morning we're gonna play all night long. Yo! We don't have to worry and about then me. you would you wouldn't even go to sleep, probably. No. I bet someday never gonna go to sleep. you will never go to sleep. You uh -uh. and Hannah will play all night long. Stay up all night long, we're gonna play. What a great idea. Mm -hmm. When you get really, do you think like, how old would you be when you did that? Like 16, 17? <laughs> no, like nine. Oh, maybe when you're nine. That's only five years away. You know, you might be ready when you're nine. You'll have to see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to talk about it again when you're nine. 
So I know it doesn't seem fair. Your sister gets to do this. Your sister is ready. Your sister's ready and you're not quite ready, but you'll be ready someday. You're just not ready yet, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 Awesome. So let's unpack fairness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. things fair? Do things need to be fair? What does it mean when mm -hmm. a kid says it's not fair and how are you responding right. in that situation? So you notice that what I actually did was I sidestepped the fairness issue. Yeah, I totally I, forgot that it wasn't fair. I, well, what we looked at was what the actual reason was. It yeah. wasn't about the fairness. Mm -hmm. And we also empowered the child to earn what's keeping this child actually from the sleepover. Yeah. Could you work on that? Could you earn that? Right? Mm -hmm. So I think there are times when you might have to sweeten the pot somewhat mm -hmm. and say, I know it's hard. Your sister is going to night on the sleepover. Mm -hmm. Why don't you and I have a special night tonight since it's just the two of us. Mm -hmm. If I was right. totally inconsolable. Yes. And, and I, I get to you're going to miss your show. sister, but maybe you and I could have movie night tonight mm -hmm. and we could watch whatever movie you want. Cause sometimes your sister wants to watch movies that you're not so crazy about, but no. maybe you could watch your favorite movie for the 25th time that your <laughs> sister would mix. Right, right? right. So there would be times when I would try to help her feel better that yeah. way. And there'd be other times I would empower her. Both things might be the case. The it's not fair thing, as we know, children have an innate sense of fairness. Humans do. Yeah. And we know that babies, before they're verbal, notice whether something's fair or not. Yeah. And we'll, we, we have ways to test that. So when a child says it's not fair, we, we didn't even do that here. But we could say, that really doesn't feel fair to you. You think if she has it, you should have it. And maybe we need a better example than the sleepover. Because mm -hmm. that's so easy to talk about skill building. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to do, um, you just got a new pair of shoes. shoes. New shoes. Yeah. You, they're I sparkly, shoes. beautiful shoes that you I got. I want sparkly shoes. And you need new shoes It's not now. fair that yeah. she has sparkly shoes and I don't have sparkly shoes. It doesn't seem fair well, that's that your yeah. sister got new shoes and you didn't have them. And let me see. Let me try to see, see your shoes. So your feet are growing all the time, but they still fit in these shoes just fine. You're not quite ready for new shoes yet. Not quite ready yet. yet you will be. Year. You will be mm -hmm. ready for new shoes soon. You might still feel inconsolable. I like know. she's got the most sparkly shoes. Right. Do you love her sparkly shoes? Yes. They are really beautiful My shoes. shoes. Are They're beautiful. Right. They're beautiful shoes. When you're ready for your new shoes, do you think you might want a pair like that? Yeah. Should we should we write that down so we remember when yes. it's time for you to have shoes that you want the sparkly yeah. shoes? What shop were they at? Do we remember the shop? Right. The write it down. Right. And children think that writing is magical. <laughs> right? It, and it is. Yeah, it is. And it's remembered. It's documented. Exactly. It's yeah. something, there's documentation. Yeah. Exactly. Proof. And, yeah. and so there that way things. you feel like, okay, there's a possibility of justice in the future. Right. Even though there's not justice now. And to you, it doesn't seem like justice that she gets shoes and you don't because your feet haven't yet outgrown yes. your shoes. That doesn't make sense to you. So you're going to have to take my word for it. Right. And once again, we're back to the lens of connection. Mm -hmm. That if she trusts me and trusts me to meet her needs, even though it doesn't seem fair, I have basically said when you're ready for shoes, which will happen, yeah. you're going to be able to get these if you choose to. She's going to accept it because we're not in power struggles <laughs> all the time, because we do have a relationship where she trusts me. Yeah. Right. And I think that's why preventive maintenance is the bottom line sure. for children to accept the inherent injustice of life. Right. Because it is unjust. I mean, here's another yeah. thing. I know it doesn't seem fair that your big sister always wins your races. Mm -hmm. It's not, it doesn't seem fair. She, you're right. She is a faster runner than you. You aren't as fast as her yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And you know, if you work on your running and you practice, 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 you will get faster. And you're not as fast as she is yet. And I know it doesn't seem fair that she's so fast. Mm -hmm. And now I have to say that when Alice was young, do you remember saying to Eli? When I'm older than you. Yeah, because because you, you were four and he was eight. And yeah. you said, when I'm eight, I'll be as old as you. And you'll see then. It yeah. hadn't occurred to her yet yeah. that eventually he would be 12 and yeah. There was no way to catch up. No and chance. I think when that, I, no I think it sunk in shortly after that, he explained it to her <laughs> in a kind of way. Happen. In a kind like, way. And he was like, yeah, when that happens. I'll be and ready. then he was, he was nice about it, but she, it slowly dawned on her. And I think her grief was very real. You just cried and wailed <laughs> like, I'll never be as old as him. He'll always be bigger and faster. He'll always be able to win at the games. And I think there is for the younger child, 
this sense of injustice just because you're younger and yeah. it's not fair. Right. How come he got to how come he got to be born first? Yeah. And I right. think the only thing to do with that unfairness, that grief, is to honor it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I know, you wish you were the oldest. Mm -hmm. Now, sometime, not at that moment, sometime later, it might be that you would point out that as the younger child, you get a longer story time with mommy at night or mm -hmm. whatever else. I mean, and he would be the first to tell you all the litany of things she got that he <laughs> yes, didn't get, exactly right? right. Um, and so I think that's useful too, because I'm sure the older child feels that something's not fair. Yeah. That the baby always, oh, you think, as, our, as Eli said to me once, you think that she can do no wrong. She's so angelic looking, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But of course, you know, that yeah. wasn't true. So the, both children think it's not fair. And there's a way in which you cannot possibly undo that. Yeah. All you can do is honor their grief about the unfairness and try to make sure that you're always able to, I mean, that, they, that you hear them. That yeah. you them. One of the things that I like to tell my kids is that it, that life isn't fair. And I don't think that that's a problem. You know what I mean? I think it's not about fairness. I realize that we're all looking for equality, you know, in division from babyhood, etc. But just exactly what you're saying is that it's it, each situation has pros and cons, right? Mm -hmm. Being the youngest has its pros and cons. Being the oldest has its pros and cons. Whatever you are, being a boy, being a girl, it doesn't matter. All right. of these different things. And I think it's helpful to learn to look at your mm. blessings, to count mm. your blessings, mm -hmm. right? And to be appreciative for what you got. So right in that moment where you're feeling it's not fair, that's gonna be a hard time to bring that up. But just the idea that like what I try to impart to them, um, however clumsily, is that I'm interested in everyone's needs being met. Right more than mm. in everyone getting the exact same thing, right, right? right? So I'll say things like, you don't even like banana. So if I give three bananas to Liam, is that unfair to you? He got three more than you, but that's still but fair because you don't want that, right? <laughs> but you want something completely different. So, yeah. right, and just this idea that everybody has different needs and different abilities and different skills and that that's okay. Mm. That's yes. a beautiful thing, right? Yes. It's beautiful because we're different <laughs> and being different and diverse is something to celebrate. Mm -hmm. yes. So just trying to bring it around to, yeah, it's okay. it isn't fair, but that's also okay and that's just a fact of life, right? Well, more that the more important question is, are your needs being met? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's not about fair. Yeah. Right. And, and that's also something that I actually say to them. I say, rather than saying what he got or rather than saying what he didn't get or, or he, why don't you ask me for what you want? Yes. Right? Just say what you want. He got a bigger piece. Exactly. Yes. Would you like more? Exactly. It's right. not about he got a bigger piece. It's, do you want more? Yes. It doesn't yeah. matter There's what he got. There's plenty for everyone. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's not a scarcity matter. model. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's really the, Key. the core is learning to ask for your, what you want. And in this case, she wanted a sleepover oh, yeah. and she couldn't have it. Right. 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 And I, I do think that empowerment is always our goal with children. That, that we don't want to say to, I mean, that in the old generation, when parents would say, life isn't fair, right. it disempowers you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you're simply saying, it isn't fair. You're right. I'm sorry. That is the way life is, but your needs will be met. Mm -hmm. There's plenty mm -hmm. to go around. That's what you're saying, yeah. which is an empowering message. And you can even be more explicit about the yeah. empowering message. You can say, instead of life isn't fair, you yeah. can just say, I wonder what part of this you could change if you chose to. Yeah, and yeah. that's a huge yeah. part too. And that was the message I was giving you initially, right? Yeah. And it was the message I gave you about the running, her running faster than right. you. And no, you'll never catch up with her in your age. That right. is true. But there are things you can do to have more of what it is you're wanting. Right. Yeah. yeah, that right. you can create for yourself. Right. Children, right. no one ever has to be a victim. We yeah. can always we can always say, okay, what part of this can I change? Mm -hmm. And all right, I had a setback, but it's not a permanent setback. Mm -hmm. It's not because I'm younger permanently. Mm -hmm. It's because right now I haven't yet developed that capacity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also the, you said she could one day catch up to her and run as fast as she can't run as fast yet. But also maybe just, but you run super fast. Like for yes, you. It right? doesn't have to be. I think right? that's a really good point right? is it's not in comparison. Yeah. So when it when a kid says, I hate it that she runs faster. Everybody yeah. prefers her. Everybody at school thinks she's the actress who gets the parts yeah. in the school play. I get the tiny part in the school play. Well, what if you say to the child who got the tiny part, I loved watching you up there on stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw, maybe it's a non-speaking part. Yeah. I saw the way your eyes gleamed in the darkness and you were the cat 
slithering across yeah. the stage. I loved watching you. But my sister, she had the speaking role. And you know what? Your sister did great. And we'll tell her how great that was, you yeah. and I, that we liked it because she inspired us. But what I am talking to you about right now, yeah. darling, mm-hmm. is I loved watching you be that slithering cat. Yeah. Right. And you know what comes to mind for me when you say that is just comparing it to nature. Um, because mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, a cheetah isn't in competition with, right, with, the, them, the, yeah. with a pigeon, whatever, it doesn't yeah. matter, right? It's, it's like, yes, that is a faster animal, but they each have their qualities and yeah. they're so beautiful. And I feel like it's helpful for kids to remember, it's not, we're not actually taking notes and comparing mm-hmm. you. Run, also, running fast for the joy of it, or right. performing, yes. because it's yes. what you want to do, and there's so many different ways of doing that. So just trying to bring it back down, not to the, com- like, sidestepping the comparison, yes. and what you just did there was, you were awesome on stage, she was awesome on stage, you're both great in different ways and yeah. it's not even comparable so yeah I think that's beautiful thank you